Amen. Uh, he has a church. Hallelujah, Bazalane. He's my father. Ekamenda Christu Jesus and Nazareta. Prophet Abraham, all the way from Pochestine. Can we clap our hands? We shout to Hallelujah. Shout Hallelujah. Shout fire. Shout fire. Clap hands for the Holy Ghost. Clap hands. And recognize the officers who come in front in the mighty name of Jesus. Shine my own love is out there for the other people. You are on fire and a
I am honored to stand before you today. I want to thank the Father of the ministry for the opportunity that he trusts me in his pulpit and with your soul. Early on I was praying in tongues and I love doing that because it's the Apostle Paul that said to the Corinthian churches I thank my God I speak in tongues more than you all that was Paul's lifestyle that he spoke in tongues because Satan don't understand tongues principalities, power, spiritual wickedness in high places and rulers of darkness don't understand tongues the kingdom of darkness don't understand tongues so if you want to bring confusion then pray in tongues worship in tongues warfare in tongues I have preached in this nation in many churches and what God said to those churches is not saying it to you so I'm not taking a sermon that I preach in another church and giving it to you I need to give you fresh revelation I need to give you fresh meat God is faithful 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 in your situation God is faithful in your circumstance God is faithful in your storm God is faithful in your need God is faithful in your unemployment God is faithful God is faithful. 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 It was John the Baptist that said, A man cannot receive anything unless it's given him from above a man cannot receive anything unless it's given him from above the apostle Paul also said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 for I have received from the Lord a man cannot receive anything unless it's given him from above a man a man a man cannot receive anything. A man. It doesn't say a male. It says a man. There's a difference between man and male. There's a difference between a man and a male when we're talking about male we're talking gender as in male and in female so we're talking gender when the bible talks about a man it talks about the spirit man it talks about the spirit man what we need in this nation we need more men and less male 
We need more men and less males. We need a man to arise and not a male. But we need men. There's a lot of males. But they're not men. I am a male. But am I a man? Taking responsibility. Being accountable. Being responsible. As a father. And as a husband. A lot of males. But not many men. And John the Baptist says, A man cannot receive anything unless it's given him from above. So God don't speak to a male. God speaks to a man. God don't speak to a male. God speaks to a man. God don't speak to your outward appearance. God don't speak to your gender. God speaks to your spirit. In the spirit, there's no gender. There's no male spirit and female spirit. There is no gender in the spirit. So we are all sons. We are all sons. We are all sons. Even the ladies are sons. The women of God are sons. The females are sons. There are no gender. There are no gender in the spirit. There's no gender in the spirit. So when God speaks, He speaks to a man. He speaks to the spirit man. He don't speak to the male. He speaks to the man that's inside the male. He speaks to the man that's inside the male. He speaks to the man that's inside the male. You look at me. You see the male. But you don't see the man. You look at me. You see the male. But you don't see the man. Because I am a spirit man. You don't see my spirit man, but you see the male. You see the male. You see the male. The man is in contact with heaven. The, the man is in contact with heaven. The man is in contact with heaven. The male. Is in contact with the earth. The male is in contact with the earth. The earth speaks to the male. But heaven speaks to the man. The earth speaks to the male. But heaven speaks to the man. So when God speaks, He speaks to the spirit man. He to your spirit. God don't speak to your soul. God don't speak to your soul. God don't speak to your soul. God speak to your spirit. God speaks to your spirit. When Satan attacks you, he attacks your soul. When Satan attacks you, he attacks your soul. Your mind, your emotions, your will. The warfare, the warfare, the warfare is against your soul. The warfare is against your soul. There's a difference between warfare in the heavenlies, doing warfare in the heavenlies, and your soul. Coming under attack, and your soul coming under attack. So John said, A man cannot receive anything 
unless it's given it from above. So what is above? What is above? Above us, there's the first heaven, which is the atmospheric heaven. Then there's the second heaven, which is the cosmic heaven. And then there's and then there's the third heaven which is the spiritual heaven what is above 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 us there's the first heaven the atmospheric heaven the atmosphere the sky the sky the second heaven which is the cosmic heaven any cosmic heaven the sun is the moon the stars the milky way or galaxies space that's the second heaven and then there's the third heaven where God sits on his throne and there are angels and there are seraphims and there are cherubims and there are archangels and there are worshipping angels and there are messenger angels and there are worshipping angels so above us there are three heavens three heavens above us and the spirit man connects with the third heaven the spirit man communicates with the third heaven the spirit man fellowship with the third heaven the spirit man hears from the third heaven voices coming from the third heaven Voices coming from the third heaven. The voice of the Father. The voice of the Son. The voice of the Holy Spirit. Voices coming from the third heaven. Voices coming from the spirit heaven. Voices coming from the third heaven. Voices coming from angels. Voices coming from angels. Voices coming from angels. Speaking to the spirit man. Speaking to the spirit man. Speaking to the spirit man. A man cannot receive anything unless it's given him from above. The first heaven is the atmospheric heaven. The sky. Your first heaven is your atmospheric heaven. That is where Satan set up his kingdom. He set up his kingdom in the first heaven. Principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places, rulers of darkness. Governed from the first heaven. So Satan, his kingdom is in the first heaven. But he comes down to the earth. And he walks to and fro on the earth. And then he goes up again into the first heaven into the atmospheric heaven principalities powers spiritual wickedness in high places rulers of darkness comes into the earth to do their assignment and then, and then they go back into the first heaven Demons, devils, evil spirits, unclean spirits, operate on the earth. Spirits of high ranking, demonic spirits of high ranking, they operate from the cloud. 
They operate from the cloud. They operate from the cloud. Spirits of high ranking. Demons of high ranking. They operate from the cloud. They operate from the cloud. They operate from the cloud. A man cannot receive anything unless it's given him from above. I want you to listen to this. When God sent Gabriel, the archangel, then he must leave the third heaven. Gabriel must come into the second heaven. Then Gabriel must pass the first heaven. And then Gabriel gets into the earth. So Gabriel comes from the third heaven. The spiritual heaven. He comes to the second heaven. The cosmic heaven. He comes into the first heaven. The atmospheric heaven. And right here in the first heaven. This is where Satan. And principalities. And powers. And spiritual wickedness in high places. And leaders of darkness. They stop. What comes from heaven, Satan stops. Demon stops it. Satan fights it. It is the same with the church. The church is on the earth. So we pray. And our prayers must go up. But the first heaven is, is the atmospheric heaven. And so when your prayers go up, because Satan's kingdom is in the first heaven, Satan fight our prayers. He stop our prayers. He hinders our prayers. So when the angels come from heaven to the earth, Satan fights it. Satan fight angels coming from heaven. Every message that comes from heaven, Satan fights it. Every dream, every vision, every open vision, every open vision, every revelation, every trance. Every prophetic word, Satan fights it. Satan fights it. Satan fights it. Because it came or it comes from the third heaven. So everything that comes from the third heaven, Satan fights it in the first heaven. Satan don't fight it on the earth. Satan fights it in the first heaven. Satan fights it in the first heaven. Many of you have received prophecies. Many of you have received a prophetic word. Many of you, God has promised you something. And it is not happening. It's not coming to pass. And some of you thought you did something wrong. No, you didn't do something wrong. Your dream, vision, open vision, revelations, 
Tranches. Prophecies. Sometimes Satan fights it. He tries to stop it. He tries to hinder it. Your money. Your blessings. Your new job. Your new car. Your new house. Everything God has for you. Satan, Satan is not happy with that. And so he fights it. And so he fights it. But the devil is a liar. And the devil can go to hell with his mother-in-law. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. So who's the devil's mother-in-law? I'm glad you asked. Jezebel. Jezebel. That woman Jezebel. That woman Jezebel. So Satan fights everything. That God has planned for our lives. Our lives. But the devil is a liar. He has no idea that you are the one who is fighting it. And I want to say to you today. It's written in the book of Numbers. Yes, Chapter 22. God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the Son of Man that he should repent. When God said something, he will do it. And God promised something. He is to Not 
life. And what God promised you. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I am sorry. That I have upset some of you. Maybe I make some of you angry. Maybe you a pop star. And you are a movie star. And you are a rock and roll star. And you are somebody important. And people bow before you. A few years ago, I was in Rustenburg. I met the king of a certain tribe in Rustenburg and I met the queen mother. You know when you get invited to meet with the king, you know you're going to put on shorts and a t-shirt and slippers. And t-shirt and, and shorts. When you get invited by the president, you are gonna put on a suit and a tie. You want to look the part. So I met with the Queen Mother of the Vatican people. I was a bit nervous. First time. And she said, Oh, you are the Queen Mother. Of a very big in South Africa. There are protocols. There are protocols. There are protocols. If the president, your president, asks you to come to the union offices or buildings in Pretoria, then you're going to have to look the part. Dress up well, dress nice. Upon meeting the Queen Mother, we chat. Spiritual. Deeply spiritual. There, there are some very rich people in this world. They are very spiritual. Very spiritual. Very spiritual. Very spiritual. And we spoke and we spoke and we spoke for a while. In 2007, 2007 I flew to Parliament. 2008, in 2008, I flew to Parliament to meet with the presidents of the different political parties to pray and to advise people got problems everybody's got problems everybody's got issues whether you are a millionaire, a multi-millionaire, a quadrillionaire, a quadrillionaire. Whether you are a quadrillionaire, everybody's got problems. Everybody. Everybody. A quadrillionaire, he borrows the president money. A quadrillionaire, a quadrillionaire borrows the nation money. He's got lots of money. And some of you, you're going to meet some very rich people. You're going to meet some very rich people. And what I have noticed about rich people is that they wear slippers and they wear shorts and they wear t-shirts. That's what I've noticed about some very rich people. And they don't tell you that they are rich. For you young ladies that are still single, 
speaking out to the single ladies. Don't marry a male. Marry a man. Marry a man. Marry a man. You must come with money. You must come with cars. You must come with houses. You must come with a career. You must come intelligent. You are not going to work for him. You are not gonna work for him. You are not gonna work for him. He's a mommy's boy. He's a mommy's boy. Mommy spoiled him. Mommy spoiled him. That's why he's a male. That's why he's a male. He's not a man. And all the males say, ouch! Ouch! A man can receive nothing. Unless it's given him from above. Ah, God has given him the power to give you something. Ah, God has given him the power to give you something. Ah, God has given him the power to give you something. Ah, God has given him the power to give you something. Ah, God has given him the power to give you something. I see you traveling. Many of you. I see you getting into a limousine. Yeah. Not to go to the cemetery. But you're getting into a limousine. To your destination. To your destination. To your destination. Many of you are going to count money. And you're going to count money. And you're going to count money. And you're going to go into the bank. And they're going to take you to a side room. And the bank manager is going to talk to you and ask you to make investment into that bank. There's a lot of money coming. A lot of money coming. Now you ask me, prophet, prophet, do you have a scripture for that? I'm happy you ask. God promises to give you the wealth 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 to give you the Money is coming your way. 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 And you know who God is going to use. God is going to use the Muslim. God is going to use the Muslim. God is going to use the Muslim. God is going to use the Buddhist. God is going to use the Hindus. 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 God is going to
unsafe with a woman. She was not a Jewish with a woman. She was not a Jewish with a woman. She was a Gentile with a woman. She was a Gentile with a woman. But the way was first, and what is this? And God sent the prophet to her. To ask for something to eat. To eat after the answer, Bisha. The church, Ibanka. Sometimes, what is that? Don't help you. I need food. The church, sometimes, don't help you. Uh, Christians, uh, sometimes, don't help you. But God, God is about to use unsafe people. Unsafe people. Unsafe people. Unsafe people. Unsafe people. Unsafe people. Get ready. Limbella. Get ready. There are numbers in my spirit. There are numbers in my spirit. There are numbers in my spirit. Your vision is big. Your vision is big. Your vision is big. But there's provision for your vision. There is provision for your vision. There is provision for your vision. Your vision is big. But there is provision for your vision. Amen. There are three people in this place. You are ministers. God's going to give you your own airplane. There are three people in this place. And they are ministers. God is going to give you your own airplane. Your own airplane. I want to say to the ministers. Why? 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 Overseas ministers got airplanes. Kenneth Copeland got airplanes. The late TV Joshua got his own airplanes. Why Kraflo Dollar got airplanes? Joe Austin got his own airplane. Everybody got airplane. And in South Africa, we don't have airplane. The president got his own airplane. I want to say to the ministers that are here, there are some airplanes coming for your ministry. There's some airplanes coming. You're not gonna travel SAA. You're not gonna travel Guruleka. You're not gonna travel Mango. No, no, no. You're gonna travel in your own airplane. God is gonna give you your own pilot. God is gonna give you your own pilot. God is gonna give you your own pilot. I want to say to ministers. I see God giving you very big houses in the season. Very big. Very big. Very big. Very big. I see 10 bedroom houses. Bedroom houses. 10 bedroom houses. Tomorrow afternoon, I need to meet somebody. He's staying in a house that costs 40 million. So his house is 40 million. So I need to meet with this person tomorrow afternoon. I have laid down my head in houses that cost millions of rand. And God is about to give you your own house. God is about to give you your own house. And now I want to say, don't exercise your faith for a government house. 
for the low cost house Father, why are you using your faith for a low cost house exercise your faith in God for big things I see businesses, businesses. I see many of you starting businesses. The businesses are going to become small. God is going to grow and grow and grow and grow. What is now in my spirit? There are 25 millionaires. There are 25 millionaires. God is going to bring them. They're going to come into your life. They're coming to help. They're coming to help. They're coming to help. They're coming to help. The difference between the church and the world. The difference between the church and the world is that the church is scared of money. The difference between the church and the world is the church is scared of money. The church is scared of money. Because you think if God gives you 10 million, you're going to backslide. So you don't want 10 million. You just want enough to live. But listen, God is going to bless you in this season to be a blessing to others. God is going to give you more than one thing. God must give you 10 iPhones. He must give you 10 iPhones so you can give away. 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 God must give you more than one car. So you can give away. Give away. Give away. Give away. Give away. God must give you more than one house. So you can give away. Give away. Give away. Give away. God must give you more than one airplane. You can give away, give away, give away. God must give you a lot of land. So you can give away, give away, give away. Give away. Give away. Give away. I have given away phones. iPhones. iPhones. Samsung. Samsung. Samsung S. Samsung S, Samsung A, Samsung A, Samsung J. I've just given phones away. Just given phones away. Just given phones away. God must give us more than one of a thing. Don't just ask God for one phone or one car or one house. Ask God to give you more than enough so you can be a blessing to others a man cannot receive anything from above a man cannot receive anything that's given him from above a man cannot receive anything every good gift Every perfect gift comes from above. Your anointing comes from above. Your unction comes from above. Your calling comes from above. Your gifting comes from above. Your talent comes from above. Your ministry comes from above. It came from the third heaven. 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 I want to say in closing. God is going to put a lot of important people around you. Very important people. 
But stay humble. Tobe. Stay humble. Tobe. Stay humble. Tobe. There are people coming into our lives, into your life. God, God is bringing them. God is sending them to be a blessing to you. But stay humble. Stay humble. Some of us, the minute you get an iPhone, the latest maybe like 15,000, 20,000 eh? then we feel so important you got an iPhone now stay humble the money is coming, stay humble your car is coming, stay humble your house is coming, stay humble when God uses you stay humble remain humble in this season remain humble I want you to stand to your feet this afternoon let's just stand I want you to raise your hands for me. Men seketa la la vos seketa la la he shekish. Let us stay humble. Let us humble ourselves. Let us walk in humility. God wants to bless. God wants to bless. You are where you are today because of God. You got what you got today because of God. You have what you have today because of God. Your money, your cars, your houses, your career, you was not born with all those things. God has given it to us. So stay humble. Let's remain humble. Let us remain humble. God is giving you something. I see God giving you things in the spirit. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes for me. You close your eyes for me. You close your eyes for me. God is a giver. God is a giver. God is a giver. God is a giver. So receive. God is a giver. So receive. Whatsoever you need today for tomorrow, for your future for your destiny receive it receive it God is giving you something receive it today receive your healing receive your prosperity receive your provision receive your protection receive your open door receive your breakthrough receive Receive your job. Receive your promotion. Receive your new season. Receive your new chapter. Receive. 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 God is pouring the oil. I see the oil flowing in this place. I see the oil flowing. I see the anointing oil flowing. There's oil flowing. There's oil flowing. There is oil flowing. 
There is oil flowing. Receive. Receive. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. Things have changed. Things have changed. Things have changed. It's a new season. It's a new day. 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 It's a Monse de la la haya sakushka de la babosha Monse de la la haya sakushka de la babosha Monse de la babosha keska tei Monse de la babosha koshka ta Monse de la babosha Monse de la babosha Monse de la leesha keska ta Monse kata la babosha Monse de la la haya sakushka de la babosha Monsa de la babusha keska tei Monsa de la la haya sogoshka Moska Ese de la babusha Monsa de la leeshka de la babusha I can see the color purple Over your life God says you are royalty God says you are royal. The nations are waiting for you. 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 It's a new season. It's a new chapter. It's a new Just wait. 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 Just wait.
mansion. Just wait through the mansion. Just wait through the mansion. You are the money lady. People are calling you the money lady. You gotta be called the money lady. I see different currencies. 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 From all the nations of the world, from all the nations, from all the nations, from all the nations, your history was very difficult. Your history was very difficult. Your upbringing was very difficult. The way you grew up was very difficult. Very difficult. Feeling nobody loves you. Nobody cares for you. Nobody is there for you. Feeling so old. All by yourself. You must work for yourself. You must take care of yourself. You must be independent. God is saying your destiny is better than your history. Your destiny is better than your history. Your destiny is better than your history. I see the color green. I see the color green. The color green. The color green. That's a prosperity color. God is going to prosper you. 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 God is going to you. God is going to prosper you. I see you doing business in deep waters. I see you doing business in deep waters. I see you doing business in deep waters. In deep waters. I see these big ships. These very big ships. These these luxury cruises. These very big ships. I see you with business people. With business people. So many business people around. God says He's going to trust you. You carry a Joseph anointing. You carry a Joseph anointing. You're going to help nations. 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 It's a new season. It's a new chapter. It's a new day. You're going to you're going to help nations. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You're going to help nations. I see state presidents around you. I see government. I see Oval Offices. I see the White House. You're going to meet with political dignitaries. You're going to meet with scientific dignitaries. You're going to meet with military dignitaries. Economic dignitaries. Financial dignitaries. You're going to meet very important people in your lifetime. Stay humble. Stay humble. Stay humble. You're going to have your own limousine for your family. It will be a family limousine. It will be a family limousine. You will have your own personal imported car. You will have your own imported car. 
God is going to bless you. God is going to give you much. God is going to bless you. God is going to give you much. And to whom much is given, much is going to be required. Much is going to be required. Much is going to be required. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. I see blind eyes opening. I see the death yearing. I hear the dumb speaking. I see the lame getting out of wheelchairs. I see the dead being raised. You're carrying a very strong evangelistic anointing. You're carrying a very strong evangelistic anointing. I see stadiums. 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 I see signs and wonders and miracles and healings. Signs and wonders and healings and miracles. I release an anointing upon your life today for signs and wonders and healings and miracles. You are evangelists to this nation and to the nations of the world. You are going to travel. 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 Give him the Bible. You're going to travel. You're going to travel. God is going to use you. Keep your eyes closed. God is going to use you. 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 I see trucks. Horse and trailer trucks. Horse and trailer. Very big trucks. Very big trucks. Five of them. Five of them. For evangelism. For evangelism. You're going to preach the gospel. You're going to preach the gospel. You're going to preach the gospel. Keep on serving. 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 God says, I must tell you that He's in covenant with you. God is in covenant with you. The blood of Jesus. God says He is in covenant with you. And I see so many people. I see so many people. I see so many people. And they're crying for help. They're crying for help. They're crying for help. And I see you. I see you. Your calling. Your grace. Your anointing. God is going to use you. I see medical doctors around you. I see medical doctors around you. I see you laying hands on people. I see you laying hands on people. A new heart. You giving them a new heart. I see you giving people new lungs. You giving people new kidneys. I see you giving people new, new, new lungs. I see you 
hands and kidneys and liver. Is it? So I'm not okay. Zamash. You going to pray for people? Who got ten thousand abans? And God is just gonna give them a new brain. I see legs growing. Can I pray for people? 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 Can I And miracles. I see an open heaven over you. 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 It's a new season. It's a new chapter. It's a new day. God is pouring the oil. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm going to ask you to stand in the section for me. All of you, please stand for me for a few minutes. Monsieur Ketala Babosha. Monsieur Ketala La Hai, Sonish Ketala Babosha, Kis Ketala La Hai, Sonish. I want you to raise your hands for me. I want you to close your eyes. I want to speak a blessing over your life. The blessing of long life. That you will love long. That you will love long. That you will love long. That sickness will not touch you. That sickness will not touch you. That sickness will not touch you. I declare a new season for you. I declare a new chapter for you. I declare a new day for you. I declare new beginnings for you. I see the favor of God upon your life. I see things beginning to happen. I see projects happening. Business projects happening. Business enterprises. Businesses. 
I'm a business. I see finances. I see a flow of money. I see God blessing you. I see God blessing you. I see, you. I see safe traveling mercies for you. I see safe traveling mercies for you. I see safe traveling mercies for you. It's going to be well with you. It's going to be well with your children. It's going to be well with your children. Children. It's going to be well with your great grandchildren. I speak health and healing. Health and healing. Health and healing. I speak the protection of God over your life, over your home, over your family. I speak joy. I speak peace. I speak happiness. I speak laughter over your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You're going to love long. You're going to love strong. Sickness will not touch you. Sickness will not touch you. Sickness will not touch you. Many of you are going to travel overseas. Many of you are going to travel overseas. Safe travel for you. Safe travel for you. Safe travel for you. Nothing will happen to you. You will go safe. You will arrive safe. You will go safe. You will arrive safe. Favor upon your life. I release the rain from heaven. I release the dew from heaven. I release the blessing of heaven upon you and your families in the name of Jesus your businesses your careers your workplace in the name of Jesus I command the blessing of God the blessing of Abraham the blessing of Isaac the blessing of Jacob the blessing of Israel upon you and upon your family in the name of Jesus I speak blessing over your church I speak blessing over your ministry I speak blessing I speak blessing, I speak blessing over your life the desires of your heart is granted I release angels into your life. I activate angels into your life. I initiate angels into your life. In the name of Jesus. There are doors going to open. There are doors going to open. Political doors. Business doors. Ministry doors. Financial doors, agricultural doors, economic doors, social doors, social scientific doors, even in the education sector, even in the Sector. God is going to open doors. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. I see a flow. Get ready for blessings. 2024 is your year. This 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 is your year. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. I, I want you to stand. I want you to stand. I, I see God healing marriages. 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 I see God restoring families. I see God restoring families. I see God restoring families. 
I see God healing marriages. I see God healing marriages. I see God healing marriages. I see God restoring families. I see God restoring families. I see God bringing families together. I see the unity in families. The oneness in families. The healing in families. The restoration in families. Something is going to happen over Tonga. Amen. Something is going to happen over Tonga. And it's something good. It is something good. I can see a white cloud in the spirit. Amen. I can see a white cloud in the spirit. And I can see revival. I can see revival. I can see revival. Apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers and evangelists coming together. When the is coming together, men of God coming together, women of God coming together and work together, I can see the reign of the Spirit over Tonga. I can see the reign of the Spirit over Tonga. I can see the reign of the Spirit over Tonga. I can see the reign of the Spirit over Tonga. God is about to visit Tonga. But signs, wonders, healings, miracles, and revival, and the blessings of the Lord are about to be poured out over this area. And not only this area, but even the rural areas, and the suburbs, and the I see the blessing of God over KZN. I see the blessing of God over this province. I see the blessing of God over this nation. It's raining in the spirit. 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 In the spirit. I see God going to families and blessing the children. I see God going to families and blessing the children. And I want to say children. I want to say teenagers. I want to say young adults. I want to say you that has finished matric. God is about to bless you. 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 God is bless you. God is about to bless you. God is about to bless you. God is about to bless you. I see so much food in families. I see so much food in families. I see so much food in families. I see God meeting your needs. 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 I see, your needs. I see angels going to families. And they're carrying money and they're carrying money. I see angels going to families. Just receive, says the Holy Ghost. 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 Just receive, says the Holy
These are worship CDs. They are 50 rand each. And these are sermons and preaching. And they are 50 rand. And then I have anointing oil. Anointing oil. Perfumed anointing oil. It is a hundred rand a bottle. So if you are interested, you can see me. Or you can see the apostle and his wife. Everyone that's wearing purple, I want you to come to the front quickly. Everyone that's wearing purple Everyone that's wearing purple. I want to give you something for free. Everyone that's wearing purple. Now I know some of you must be saying, Hey, I should have worn purple today. That lady there with the white dress on. Everyone that's wearing purple. <laughs> Even if your socks are purple. <laughs> purple socks. I'm a socks. I'm a Anything that's purple. purple. Everyone that's wearing purple. <laughs> Okay. Everyone is wearing purple. <laughs> The apostle is not going to get, he's not going to get the apostle. We're not giving him anything. 
Anyone that's wearing red today, you're wearing red. You're wearing red. You're wearing red. Anyone wearing red? Okay. Is a product. Okay. Okay. What color is this? Oh, no. He said almost. Hallelujah. I got the party going to Sabunga Cool.